Hey guys, welcome back to Helper Function. In this video, we will discuss another interview problem, rectangles overlap. So the problem statement says that we are given with two rectangles and we need to determine if they overlap or not. Now for the representation of rectangles, we have been given two coordinates. One is the bottom left coordinate, let's say x1 and y1, and another is the top right corner that is x2 and y2. It is also given that the sides of the rectangle are axis aligned, which means that they are parallel to the x-axis and the y-axis. And also, if two rectangles touch the boundaries, then they are not considered to be overlap. So let's say, for example, we have one rectangle with coordinates as 0, 0 and 2, 2. And then we have another rectangle with coordinates as 1, 1 and 3, 3. So if we draw the first rectangle, let's say this is 0, 0 and this is 2, comma 2. This will be my axis. And for second rectangle, this point would be 1, comma 1 and this point would be 3, comma 3. So that's my second rectangle. So from the figure, it is clear that they overlap and because they overlap, we will return true as our answer. So let's see how we will solve this. Let's say this is the first rectangle given with coordinates x1, y1 and x2, y2. Now, let's consider the cases where the rectangles, second rectangle will not overlap. That is, the second rectangle can be here, 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 here or anywhere outside this rectangle. Now note that if the rectangle is inside the first rectangle, it is also considered to be overlapped. So broadly, we can say that the rectangle is on the upper side or the rectangle is on the downside or the rectangle is on the left side or it is on the right side. Let's try and understand again. This is our first rectangle with coordinates x1, y1 and x2, y2. Now let's say we have a rectangle on the upper half. Then this will not overlap with, let's name its coordinate as p1, q1 and p2, q2. Then this will not overlap with the given rectangle if and only if my q1 is greater than equals to y2. If we have a rectangle on the lower half, then again this will not overlap with the given rectangle if and only if my y1 is greater than equals to q2. Similarly, for the x-axis, if it lies on the right part, then it will not overlap only if my p1 is greater than equals to x2 and if it lies somewhere here p1 q1 and p2 q2 then the condition for not overlapping would be p2 should be lesser than equals to or let me say like this x1 should be greater than equals to p2. So these are the four conditions that we need to check for non-overlapping. If any of these conditions satisfies, then it means that the rectangles don't overlap and we will return false. Otherwise, it is guaranteed that the rectangles will overlap and we will return true. Now to code this is pretty simple. We just need to write those four conditions and if any of these conditions will work, we will return false, otherwise we will return true. Now we are given the rectangle coordinates as a vector list. So rec 1 of 0 represents x1, rec, two of, rec 1 of 1 represents y1, rec 1 of 2 represents x2 and rec1 of 3 will represent y2. Similarly, this will represent p1, 
this will represents p2 this represents q1 and this represents q2 thus our four conditions are x1 greater than equals to p2 p1 greater than equals to x2 y1 greater than equals to q2 and q1 greater than equals to y2 so if we go back to the dashboard these were the four conditions that we have written so this was all about the problem i put the problem link in the description so you can go and solve it if any doubts or suggestion please write in the comment and if not subscribe to the channel yet then please do that thank you so much for watching